Hey everyone, today we are going to learn about single inheritance and the program of single inheritance in c .net. But before going to single inheritance, let's see what is meant by inheritance. So inheritance is acquiring or taking the properties of one class into another class and that is called as a inheritance. Inheritance provides reusability by allowing us to extend an existing class. So this is called as a inheritance or the another definition for inheritance is creating a new class from existing class is also called as a inheritance or inheriting the properties of existing class into a new class it is also called inheritance. So there are number of definitions of inheritance. Now let's see the syntax of inheritance. Okay, so the syntax of inheritance is given as, for example, first is a access modifier that is a public, private and protected. Then the keyword class. After the class keyword, there is a derived class name and then colon base class name. And then inside curly bracket properties and methods of new class that is a derived class. So this is a syntax of inheritance means creating a new class from existing class. Okay. So this is a base class. Base class is also called as a super class or parent class. And from base class we create a new class that is a derived class. So here derived class acquires the properties of base class. Or we can say that derived class is a child class and base class is a parent class. Means the parent of derived class is a base class. So here we can call a base class as a parent class as a super class. And we can call a derived class as a child class or subclass. So there are number of names of base class and derived class. So once again remember acquiring the properties of base class into a derived class or into a new class is called as a inheritance. Or creating a new class from existing class is also called as a inheritance. Okay, now let's see the types of inheritance in c .net. So there are five types of inheritance in c .net. The first one is single inheritance, then multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical and hybrid inheritance. We will see each and every type of inheritance with example in upcoming lectures. So in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the single inheritance and example of single inheritance. Okay, so let's see what is meant by single inheritance. So single inheritance. When a single derived class is created from a single base class, then the inheritance is called as a single inheritance. Means in this type of inheritance, there is a single base class and single derived class. Means from that base class, we create only one class that is a derived class and that type of inheritance is called a single inheritance. Now let's see diagrammatically. Here is a class A. And this is a base class or we can say a super class and from class A we derive a new class, a derived class that is a class B. So here in this example there is a only one base class that is a class A and only one derived class that is a class B. So this type of inheritance is called as a single inheritance. Now let's see the program of single inheritance. Okay, so first open the Visual Studio, then go to File, New Project. After that, select Visual C Sharp from Install Languages and select Console Application. Now name your application, for example, Single Inheritance and then click on OK. Okay, so in this example, I am going to calculate the area of rectangle. So as you know, the area of rectangle is width into height. The formula to find out the area of rectangle is width into height. So here we require two variables width and height. So first let's create the base class and derived class. So this is a class program. After namespace add the base class that is a class. For example, class name is shape. So this is a base class. Now create derived class of a shape class. So shape is a base class and we can create 
class rectangle a derived class of shape so here as we see the syntax of inheritance first use class keyword and then derived class name that is a rectangle colon base class name that is a shape and inside curly bracket there are properties and methods of class rectangle and here the properties and methods of class shape so this is a single inheritance where there is a single base class and single derived class now write down the properties and methods inside the shape class so here the first variable we are going to include is protected integer width and the second one is protected integer height and now include the methods so for this i am going to write down the method as public void set width in bracket parameter that is integer w now pass the value of w to a variable width so here write down width equal to w then end of function set width now same create another function that is a set height so again write down public void set height in bracket parameter integer h again assign the value of variable h to height so here write down height equal to h end of function and then end of class the formula to calculate the area of rectangle is width into height so here we take both the parameters now write down the code for the derived class the derived class is a class rectangle so here i am going to add one function here and that is public integer get area now inside the get area function calculate the area of rectangle that is write down return width into height bracket complete end with semicolon then end of function get area and then end of derived class so in this way we write down the base class functions and derived class functions now we have to call all these functions inside a main function so go to class program and then inside main function first create the object of derived class so here the derived class is rectangle create the object of class rectangle so write down rectangle r equal to new rectangle so here to create an object in c sharp use formula that is a derived class name object name equal to new derived class name so here rectangle is a derived class and r is a object name of class rectangle now call all the methods the first method we have to call is in the base class that is a set width and then set height so we have to first get the value of width and height and then we can calculate the area to call the method write down object name dot set width in bracket suppose i assign the value uh, a parameter as 5 because here is a parameter integer w and then call another method r dot set height and here assign the value or a parameter as for example 7 okay the third function we have to call is a derived class function that is a get area and again we have to print the value that is a area of rectangle so here write down console dot write line in bracket double quotation area of rectangle is in curly bracket 0 double quotation complete comma call the function that is a r dot get area okay and at the last console dot read line to read the output the execution of program start from the main function here we create object of derived class that is a r then using object we can call a set width function so value that is a parameter of set width is 5 now we call the set width met method here the parameter is 
so width equal to 5 now again we call the second function that is a set height and the value that is a parameter is 7 so here height equal to 7 so we get both the values width equal to 5 and height equal to 7 now we call the function gate area so the function gate area in this return width into height that is a 5 into 7 and it is printed on the output screen now let's run the program okay so the area of rectangle is 35 that is a width into height I hope you understand this program. If you like this video then please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.